Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this brief update on what is happening across the Caribbean and what is expected as we're going to be progressing into the early part of this week. And so uh, we'll be taking a look at the current satellite imagery, of course, and uh, the temperature dip that is anticipated uh, as we're going to be heading into tomorrow and into Tuesday. And so I hope that you're all having a really great start to the day thus far. And so before I going to details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update Okay, and so here we are taking a look at the Caribbean region right now on infrared satellites and we can definitely see uh, all the cloud cover that is moving across some areas. We see some activity over in the vicinity of the Northwestern Caribbean near Belize. Uh, we see that patch of cloudiness that is making its way uh, towards the west over parts of northern Jamaica. So that is helping to induce overcast skies or maybe even a shower here or there across uh, sections of the island that we definitely see activity over in the Eastern Caribbean. So let's take a closer look at these regions. So again, as I mentioned, we have that little patch of cloudiness over parts of Northern Jamaica and uh, over in the vicinity of the Yucatan and also uh, near Belize thereabouts and so looking at the Eastern Caribbean right now uh, we see a bit more activity so pretty good chance of some brief showers as we're going to be progressing throughout today and we even see that narrow stretch of a bit of activity uh, and some of that activity has already begun reaching parts of Martinique and so let us now go ahead and talk about that temperature dip and so we'll be looking at uh, a few model runs here and so we're going to be kickstarting things with the euro and uh, in case you're not too familiar with this map the blues or those cooler colors indicate a below normal temperatures and over to the right side of your screen there we have the key to show how much below or above normal the temperature is and uh, that is in degrees celsius and so uh, we can definitely see here that heading into tomorrow the euro is expecting that we're definitely going to be seeing some below normal temperatures extending across parts of central america including in Belize, parts of Honduras, Guatemala, and also Mexico, and uh, also for Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, and even the Cayman Islands, and we see a bit of that extended into Jamaica. And so as we're going to be heading into Tuesday, however, we see that the model is expecting that pretty much most of this is going to be clearing up and normal temperatures are going to be uh, returning for a lot of these areas here. And then, of course, heading into Thursday of this week, we see some patches of blue here and there, uh, some cool winds coming out of the Atlantic across the Eastern Caribbean, but for the most part, uh, nothing too intense is expected major changes and anticipated and then looking at what the gfs is showing now uh this is today of course we have that massive cool air in the gulf of mexico uh and as we head into tomorrow the model is forecasting that uh pretty much the same thing we're going to be seeing those below normal temperatures across sections of florida the bahamas uh cuba the cayman islands parts of jamaica even going into belize and other parts of central america and then as we're going to be heading into Tuesday, we see that the model is expecting that uh, those cooler than normal temperatures will slowly diminish, similar to what the euro is expecting. And then heading to Wednesday, we see that most of those below normal temperatures would have diminished by that time. And so that is what is expected in terms of that temperature dip. And of course, that wind shift is also certainly likely. Uh, winds coming out of the northwest for parts of Cuba and the Yucatan, uh, but coming from the north uh, further inland of Mexico near the Bay of Campeche area where all right there and so there isn't much activity in association with the front guys so a lot of rainfall is not expected from this so uh, there isn't much in terms of the front and here is the current boundary where we have that blue line with those triangles that indicates the boundary of that cold front and so uh, we definitely didn't see much in terms of any activity on satellite uh, so it's really just the cool air and even some rough sea across some areas and so guys that is pretty much it for now and of course i'm going to be keeping you updated once necessary so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise